Hey there folks. What I'm doing today is pretzel slider buns, as you can tell by the intro. Um, basically, I've been wanting to make these uh, buns for a while now, but I just never had the nerve to do it. And then I went to buy some and they were like $20 for like 12 of them. So I'm going to try my hand at it. So in a mixing bowl, I'm going to add my water. I'll put the ingredients in the description box. Then I'm going to add my active dry yeast. Then I'll add two teaspoons of sugar. And give it a nice little whisk. So now to kind of kick start my yeast, what I'm going to do is cover my Cover the yeast with a kitchen towel and I'm going to place it in my sink which is filled with about 3 inches of warm water and I'm going to let it rest in there for about 15 minutes. So after about 15 minutes you see I produced uh, some bubbles so the yeast is activating. So now what I want to do is add that bowl to my mixer and start adding in some flour. Okay so now I'm going to start adding the flour. I have uh, four and a half cups of flour total, but I'm not going to add it all at once. Just add a little bit to start. And then I'm going to add my teaspoon of kosher salt and my four tablespoons of butter. Now I'm going to dump the rest of the flour in. And what I want to do is I want to start my mixer on low. Now I did have to stop the mixer to knock the size down a little bit, but now I'm going to get right back to mixing. Alright, as you can see we are getting there. We just want it to the point where the dough is not sticking to the size of the bowl anymore. Alright, so I did a little clean up and what I'm going to do now is just Put a little olive oil into this bowl. And I'm going to turn my dough out into this bowl and just get it lightly coated with olive oil. And then we're just going to cover it and let it rest for a little while. About an hour to an hour and a half. In a warm draft free place. Now that my dough is pretty much risen. So it's doubled in size. All I'm going to do now is turn it out into this parchment paper lined baking sheet so I can cut it into sections. So now I'm just going to punch it down a little bit. Um, try to get some of the air back out of it. Alright. Alright, so now all I really did here is I um, cut it in half and fold it up the size of the parchment paper to roll them out. Alright, so now all I want to do is try to cut these into several, seven equal portions. So I end up with 14 pretzel rolls. Like so. <clears throat> now I'm just going to take one and stretch it out a little bit. And fold it up under itself. A few times just so you can start getting the shape of a ball. Or a... Uh, a little bun and pinch the bottoms now once the bottoms is pinched I'm just gonna roll the bun in between my two palms to try to get a nice smooth slider like roll boom and there you have it so now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover these up and let them proof again for another half an hour or so in a warm draft free place so now I'm going to preheat my oven to 425 degrees, but I'm also going to bring a pot of water to a boil. And this is where the pretzel comes in at. So my bun's proofed and now I'm going to slowly add a quarter of a cup of baking soda. You don't want to add all of it at one time because then your pot is going to overflow. But just watch as I add a little at a time how the uh, pot starts fizzling. Alright, so now I'm going to start adding a few rolls to the 
pot of boiling water and baking soda and I'll probably try to add about five at a time. So we're only cooking those guys for about 30 seconds and then we're going to pull them out. But then we're going to take them over and <clears throat> brush them with egg wash. Just a light coating over the top of each of them. And now with my knife, I'm going to attempt to make some crosses on the top. More like for a presentation. Okay. So the last order of business, I'm just going to sprinkle these guys with some coarse sea salt. And now it's time for the oven. And after about 16, 17 minutes, this is what I ended up with. <clears throat> okay, full disclaimer. Some of my buns did stick to the parchment paper. So I would probably spray that parchment paper or just omit the parchment paper altogether. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'll put the ingredients in the description box and stay tuned because now that I have my pretzel rolls done, I'm gonna make an awesome slider with them. So stick around. Thanks for watching.